do you have the Barkley Mideast IP? Barkley Mideast IP, okay, I think I see it here. So the next, Pete? That's pretty far. Yep. Still on your camera. We need to go 275 meters, 322. 275, 322, I. All right. There's no need Point to five be knots. on bottom for sure. it, but if that's yes. the easiest way, then... Bridge now. Hi. We would like to go 275 okay, meters at 322. Oh, what? 275 at 322. All systems nominal. Bring your head to the right for me, please. Come up a touch, too, if you want. Oh, and we can go 0.5 for this. Cool, thanks. Look at that crab. Yeah, he's a big guy. So do you guys have the U.S. version of what you do on speed dial when there is data coming in as a checkpoint? Does somebody lift up no the one. phone and call somebody um, at ONC? I'm not sure I understand the question. So you're equal for the U.S. GS or whoever the agency Probably is. Probably NOAA. Uh, there's not. Uh, well, there's, there's the not uh, really. OI. OI would be the closest. Uh, oh yeah, that's uh, true. That's fine. The ocean observer. Look at that soul initiative. Because we learned earlier that so souls are skinnier and yes, flounders, flounders are, are rounder. <laughs> It's got like one eye sticking up, just like. The eh. both eyes are on up there. They yeah. just migrate to the other side of the head. Oh, it falls in if you got I should have brought my crochet soul flounder <sighs> halibut. I think it's a halibut, actually. Oh, yes. I crocheted a halibut because the, the fins are pointy. He's just sitting there, just like waiting for food to walk by. Yeah, that's how they do. I love their mouths, and now they're kind of squished. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> that little stubby fin. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the one I think SpongeBob it. did a really good job portraying this fish. <laughs> the ones that go meep meep. Meep meep. Meep. So look at the lips. Fish have the best lips. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's opening them up. Look at oh. He's like, kiss me, Megan. No, I'm going to kiss the fish. <laughs> Just to admire to, them from far. Go to Newfoundland and I'll have you kiss a cod. <laughs> you know, I oh, probably yeah. would kiss one. Is that a thing in Newfoundland? Oh yeah, yeah, I did it. It's called being screeched in. It's like a ceremony every time, like for the, for when you're in Newfoundland for the first time. For you in your new what? For when you are in Newfoundland. Oh, okay. For the first time. Oh, for the first time. Oh, I didn't yeah. do that. You didn't get screeched in? No. I mean, I was really you young. Just a though. kid and then... Okay, Pete. <laughs> oh, look, he's moving for you. We woke him up. Yeah. Looks tasty. Nice. <laughs> Sometimes I wish we had a net on, on board. Now we're smoking them. <laughs> yeah, dirt flavor. He'll move. 
Poor thing. It's like, what just happened to me? I have no idea. <laughs> I was in a you might have liked it, though. Uh, doubtful. Because we're helping, uh, we're helping camouflage him. <laughs> Look at this little one swim. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Swim as hard as you can. I want to see a halibut. A nice big Wait, one. That one looked a little rounder. <clears throat> might, might have been a flounder. A rounder flounder. Yep. Hook and really book it. Going upstream too. Nope, oh, big rock. Big rock, big, big crab. crab. Off to the side of that one's a big crab. Ooh. Oh yeah, nice size Donk. one. Bonk. Oh my gosh, is it pushing the rock? rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that Herc or the crab? That was Herc. <laughs> okay. Oops. <laughs> There's a porch there. <laughs> That's why we got that problem. I had quick zoom if I didn't spoil it there. <laughs> I kind of wrecked it. <laughs> Got a little too close to the. It's a big meaty crab. Mm -hmm. He's like watching it. It's a lithoded crab. Dang kids always messing with my house. <laughs> okay, we're away. See you, buddy. Yeah, we're getting dragged by the ship. Full beans. <laughs> Turn and burn. I saw it coming in the down cam, and I was like, is he going to miss that? <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> going too fast. That's why we got the D-Wubbo on the front of the porch. Use the bumper. That's what it's for. It's a bumper bar. That's what it's for. Uh -huh. Do you else are walking tonight? Yeah. Strange for this water dip. It's going a little slow. It's trying to catch up now. I'll, I'll set it for you. Oh, it's probably because the ship changed a little <coughs> heading down, a little bit. Down five, Danny. Just keep booking it ahead of me. Well, Dan wants to get ahead so he can go look at the things. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just trying to keep him at a 30 meter delta. I was tugging you there. I got just a little too far out. This guy has really pretty fins. Yeah. Do a uh, laser zoom there, Pete. That looks like good eating. <laughs> it's tiny. I think yeah, it's, it's a, a thorny head, isn't it? Thorny head? Is that what you call him? Or an idiot? <laughs> Why would you call it that? Mm -hmm. That's what the fishermen call it. I don't know. They call him idiot fish? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Probably because they don't move. They're dumb enough to get caught. <laughs> they're uh, they're really popular in Asia, and there's a big market for them. They use them as interesting flourishes on some fancy uh, platters. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna have to go to a buffet when I get home. They're pretty <laughs> popular here too. 
There's a big fishery. Yeah. Something took off in front of us. A little fish. Fish. I really want sushi. Sushi? <laughs> I've been watching these fish for the last three weeks, and I, I just want sushi. I just, I want to eat one of these fish. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat that hagfish? Pro and no, I'm good on that. No, but I'll take a uh, wallet from it. They are on the Hagfish menu. wallet? Do well, I, uh, hagfish, when you see like an uh, eelskin wallet or mm -hmm. eelskin boots, it's actually made from the hagfish. Oh, really? That's cool. Oh. Oh, oh no. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> It's that white thing, though. A little greedy. Took the out that cucumber. Mm. I want to see a hagfish tie itself in a knot. Does it do that, or is it known to do that? Yeah, they do it all the time. Oh, Speaking of tying itself in a knot, what's going on over yeah, there? Yeah, they like to tie right. themselves into knots. Sometimes they tie themselves so tight they can't get untied. Huh. Is it like a dog chasing its tail? It just does it because uh, it's bored? <laughs> no. What, it, isn't it a part of their feeding technique? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They don't have a closed jaw, so... They have to, like, push things down oh, their esophagus. Yeah. Yeah, because they're a jawless fish. They had an accident there on the road to Newport. They had a whole truck of hagfish. And Oh, oh all no. Over the road. <laughs> the oh, pictures gee. of a state trooper, his car is just covered oh. in hagfish slime. <laughs> oh, that's pretty gross. <laughs> so, pretty Mythbusters did an episode about um, eel skin wallets deleting people's credit cards. Oh. And they thought it was because it was an electric, electric eel. And like okay. creating a electrical charge, deleting charge, uh, Dead the credit card. Don't do that. No. Well, this was Mythbusters, so they, yeah. you know, they had to test this, and they found out that most eel skin wallets and eel skin boots and stuff were actually made by the hag uh, from the hagfish, mm -hmm. not actually eel. Huh. Well. So I the myth should be that they're all slimy instead of <laughs> conductive. <laughs> right. I don't know if I've ever seen eel skin products. Can you uh, so, oh, yeah. pop that thing for me? Thank you. This was uh, Mythbusters episode, I think it was season one. So oh, it was that's early. Quite on. a while ago. Might have been season two. 2003. Yeah, 2003, 2004. Yeah. I don't know why it does that. Oh, yeah, it just, if you happen to cursor over something, it does it. I don't know, that was my there childhood, you know, watching the bus over constantly. There's another hagfish. That was the year Discovery Channel did a, a episode on my house. No way. Yeah? It was a series called uh, Monster House. <gasps> you were in Monster House? Yes. For that's awesome. Monster House? Viking House was my episode. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's zoom in a bit there, Pete. I what love is Monster, Monster House. House. You ever watch Monster Garage? Yeah, that's it's basically yeah. the house version of Monster Garage. Yes, same no, producers. I don't know these things. Yeah, that um, doesn't really help us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. So basically, Discovery Channel would would do like a home makeover for them, but it was always extravagant. Like they would automate things that needed that didn't need to be automated, or turn an entire mm -hmm. house into a tiki hut. Uh, um, they did all kinds of like really artistic things. And there was mixed reviews about it. I had a Viking ship in my backyard. Wait, before or wow. after the show? Uh, during the show. Okay, so they made it for they you. They made it for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah and okay. then they gave it to them. Cool. Yes. So do you still have that house? It's in no, Seattle? No, I moved. No, it was when I lived in Van Nuys in oh, California. Oh, God. That makes sense. So there's a Viking house in Van Nuys? I think the owners tore it down since then. <laughs> Aww. It was pretty shoddy workmanship they did, but it was all for a TV show and poet. There was some pretty cool stuff they did, but like they did one that was like a Hawaii theme. They turned, uh, they put a volcano in the backyard and tiki hut and all kinds of cool stuff. So what did your Viking ship do, Pete? Uh, it had a fire-breathing dragon on Ooh. the head. Yeah. Um, 
had a fire uh, barbecue in the middle, which was kind of cool. Um, they did a, a beautiful custom table in my um, entryway. Well, that's a pretty crab. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's pretty. I, don't have time I remember they did one episode where they uh, took a car and cut it in half, and they put it in the guy's living room and turned his couch into a car car couch. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the people that were in previous episodes came out for my reveal, which was kind of fun. Got to meet all those people, or a lot of them. You know how hard it is to find those that episodes of that show? Like, they don't exist anymore. A lot of them are on YouTube. That Wait, what channel was it on? It. Discovery. It might be on Discovery Plus. or nope. No? I'm going to say they were... That is strange. Yeah. I think they would capitalize on all their property. Uh, the, after the show ended, there was a lot of uh, fallback because they didn't really do a very good job at most of the stuff they did. Uh like people had to live with this and had to pay for it out of pocket, like the repairs that they screwed up on. Mm. They 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 resolved my issues, well, which was good. nice of them. Yes, but yeah, I mean it's uh, I guess you're kind of signing up for it, right? Yeah. Any of those HGTV DIY shows, I mean, they they get in there, they want to knock this out as fast as possible, cheap as possible. And they do, sometimes they use good contractors, but a lot of times We're uh, there. they have issues. There's an entire website dedicated to the horror stories of DIY. So did the Viking ship increase the value of your house? You know, uh, the people oh. that bought it, yes. They <laughs> were fans. Where's oh, the we're still far away. The, the IP is up here. Roger. I could do a cable survey. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Yeah, that cable probably goes to the other one. The hydrates. Because there's a cable that connects the hydrates all the way to access. Was your house right next to the I-5? Uh, 405. Yeah, you had a big wall behind it? Uh, that's most of Southern California yeah, houses. I, but say, oh, okay. yeah. I remember, I'm, I'm just trying to think back to uh, those episodes. Yeah. And I, that, that's the kind of kid I was. I was watching History Channel, Discovery Channel, DIY Network. Not many cartoons. And now look, I'm flying a robot in the bottom of the ocean and build scientific instruments. How'd that happen? <laughs> yeah, why I brought that up though is uh, interesting. That was the first year of Mythbusters. I distinctly remember that. That was a great show. Funny thing is, uh, Jamie Heineman was uh, approached by Discovery to create that show, and as soon as he figured, found out what he, what they wanted, he called Adam Savage, someone who he worked with but didn't like, several years prior. Like they did not get along at all, but he knew that he would be a key element to the show because of his ingenuity and creativity. Oh, they complimented each other for the show. So oh, they definitely did. Yeah. Complete op polar opposite kind of personality, so. I'm going to keep going up. Don't follow that. There's a uh, really good book. Uh, Adam Savage uh, wrote his biography, essentially. It's called Every Tool's a Hammer. Highly recommend. It's kind of a... Not only a biography, but also a kind of a how-to for creativity. There and we go. Self projects and stuff like that. Danny, someone posted the link for the Viking House episode on YouTube. I mean, we can't watch it necessarily on the ship because can't really stream video. Not supposed to, but. 
And I don't want to steer people's eyeballs away from this yeah, no. program. <laughs> no, so. but I will definitely uh, check that out at a later time. <laughs> Send me the link. I can bring it up on our Starlink. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have a viewing party. Is that tomorrow's uh, transit. entertainment? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> transit back. Put What's it on set here? three. What's around here for me to knock over? Just that's the, the, one. the CTD yeah. over there. Uh, there's an old monument. There's CTD monuments to the right. There's that one. There's an old one. Uh, also to the northeast of that. Northeast, Roger. Um, can we get a location and a heading for this platform? Of course. JB7, right? This is JB4. JB4? Oh. Yes, and a reset. Careful, uh, there's a DBL on top of it. <laughs> and a crab. Strategically placed right <laughs> there. Here's your... So is it a company that just builds these platforms and you guys just buy them from them? Or? Um, no, we did, I think these platforms are custom. We just have a design yeah. that we've sort of used and made some small iterations on over the years. So you can see some of them. This one has like plastic feet. I don't know why. Yeah. So they're a little different. Some of them only have panels on one side like this one. Some of the panels on both sides. Uh, it just depends on the needs of the particular site. Do they come with crab sentries <laughs> that guard the corners? Uh, wow. They, they do, yeah. They're crab yeah, goils. Instead of gargoyles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crab sentries are extra. Is that a crab in the middle, too? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a crab yeah. uh, oh in gosh. place of a dust cap. Those are yeah, on the ROV staffs. I mean, these are all ideas for Monster House, right? Yeah, you can turn this into a Monster House, that's for sure. Okay, thanks, Megan. Got those. No problem. All right, so did you get the heading as well? Yep. Okay, so North. Uh, we're going to go to an, uh, this yeah. instrument that we have of whalebone and wood. It's 10 meters at 10 degrees from the platform, so it's on the north side. Roger. We don't have the camera anymore there, right? Uh, no, the camera was recovered. So, so it's just an experiment. Yeah, no instruments. Yeah. Just the packages. So we'll take an aerial video survey of these packages. So try not to sit down or kick up any sand. Um, these are sort of, I guess, packages of decayed or decaying organic material on the seafloor. <laughs> you said 10 study. meters? Yeah, I've got it here as, at 10 meters. All right. But it could be slightly off. That's a calculated value. So it's based on the different. There's the old, old, there's the old fur monument. And one humpback rib. Anything. There they are. Section. Right there. And we're going to be recovering the wood one and clipping the bone from the platform and put it into the start wire box. Starboard wire box. So I'm going to try to take some digital still photos of these on the seafloor. So, um, yeah, if you could try to hover over them as best you can. Roger. Yeah. yeah, Peter, the, when we're in position, the farthest we can zoom in in each of the packages. That'll be great. Copy that. We can start at the one closer on the right side. That looks like the whalebone. That's the wood, I think. Right here. Uh, Can we move uh, yeah, right. 20 like meters cold. east? Sure. Oh no, the wood is on the left, yeah. Bridge nav. What's the third one? Is it, is it carbonate? Is it a control? Can we move 20 meters east, please? Are we collecting that or no? No, no. Oh, okay. On another time. We want very good zoomed images and steel photos. I guess obviously we're going to have to handle the whale bone with the ROV manipulator. Yeah, with the knife, cut the cable tie. But then also pick it up. Pick it up, yeah. Okay. Hopefully it will not disintegrate. Be as gentle as possible. Yeah. You just zero the DVL? Yeah. 
Can we just float back over the IPA? IP? Uh, I gotta glance over and make sure that auto XY is not engaged. When you do that, the oh yeah, sorry. I have that on the ROV takes off. It's just trying to head home. That goes to the new DVL position. Some rock fish in there. Rapidly. Those are. There was a camera tripod cons with the camera right in the center. So we're recording videos every five minutes. Sorry, every hour for five minutes for seven years. <laughs> God, this wood block's gonna be stinky as hell. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sean, you might have to handle it for me, okay? Uh, no, You're I'm going to, to bed. Surface? Thank you. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, I don't know who's gonna handle this whalebone then. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Stephanie. Yeah, Steph can do it. <laughs> Poor Steph, she totally would too. Okay, you got your pictures and everything? Yeah, I'm taking them. Um, I guess any low, you don't want to touch down, eh? So this is as low as you can go? Uh, no, I mean, we're going to recover, but... Um, pretty low. I don't, wanna kick, I don't want to kick anything up. Can we, maybe now is a better position to zoom on the wood, perhaps? Yeah, so I've got my, I've got my stills, so if you want to yeah. uh, now position for the main camera, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, there's more of this yellow eggy stuff. Uh, zoom in just a little bit there, Pete. Yeah, I looked at the fried egg jelly, and it does look similar. Yeah, I don't know if that's it, doesn't it, though. look exactly it's like it. Yeah. That looks almost more like a kelp kind of thing, like the way it's... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. 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 There's a jar, large jellyfish that was smushed. It just doesn't look contained like a jellyfish. Well, is this uh, come, a little, come wide for a minute. Just a there. portion of it. Yeah. God's thing. It's got a pretty good Sorry. Move. It go full wide. Support you. It looks like it. Can you uh, suck it in? No, put it in. Put it in. Look at my down cam. You can see it's all the way. This is uh, not wrecked out though, right? Should be. Roger. Okay. I can try. See, it pull the porch in. Oh, it's in. I thought. Okay, um, you can zoom in there. thing though is I can barely can see that. any of the wood. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like there's much left. Hey, uh, those are the zaps there? That was because of the, yeah. the, uh, the falling on, on the cables and stuff. Was it wrapped in rope? Yeah, there was a monkey fist actually. There is interior at the center. So you can yeah. see. And there's netting. Yeah. Yeah, there's netting and uh, there's two cable ties. I see, that's all netting we're looking at that just has growth on it. Yeah. Well, that's going to be uh, fun to recover. I can see the two cable ties though, so. 
Yeah. Yeah, and there at the center there should have a monkey fist. That's probably all. Well, that's probably what this is. Yeah. So Did you want to go tighter than that? Can we? Zoom in. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, we'll see the shrimps and everything, but... Uh, see some blue there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. There's We're interested in xylophaga, the, the, the uh, bivalves and that okay, so perforate I see the, the wood. Ties. And I do see some blue in the center, but I think it's coated. The blue is uh, bungee, I think. Can we spin to the left a little bit? Stand by. So we're not taking the platform, obviously, we're just taking the sample. I think for this one, we might try to fit the whole platform. I think it'll be easier than cutting the sample loose. Yeah, How this one guys, seems more... Do you think more it'll fit in the bio box? It's hard to say. It will fit for sure. Is that how it went down? Uh, no, it went down on, we deployed the platform, the JB4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it had it on it. It had on it. But you, you have a measurements to this block? Uh, the block plate? is the block is 25 centimeter by 25, so the, the the whole thing is about 40 by 40, so it does does go inside. Okay. You can see maybe what some wood like inside the netting. No, there's definitely wood there. I got that, Megan. Thank you. Okay, I got You're my welcome. I got my nose into the current here, so I'm gonna gently sit down in front of this thing and I can get a tight shot. That whole thing's gonna come up. Full wide. Okay, now you can zoom in, Pete. You can, uh, whatever they want to look at here. Is We're sitting down now so I can pan around. How are we meant to pick this thing up? There's a monkey's fist in the middle. Hard to tell from all the That whole bush it, that you see in the, in the middle is probably a monkey fist full of Gunk. That's probably uh, I sort of see something that blue in the middle there. That yeah, looks like this a is fist. it right here, I think. Okay. It's a yellow monkey's fist. So. Yeah. Oh, I see it. This is yellow rope. These two strands there that are part of it. Mm -hmm. So you want to pick it up by the monkey fist and put the whole thing in the box? Yeah. That's the plan. All right. Did you want to see it from the side, Fabio? Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to gain much more because it's all covered. The wood is actually covered and stuff yeah okay hydrates so whenever you're ready feel free front row to pick it up and put it in the starboard bio box right there. gently now clear for craft yeah and now uh, yeah beware of the other one out there so Zoom in video. Okay. 
Mike. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. When you pick it up, pick it up nice and slow and then let it dangle there for a minute. Have Megan to handle it. She says she can. She doesn't. She can smell. Right? Well, look at the blocks <laughs> underneath yeah, it. Good, good luck. Good luck with that one, Fabio. Megan says her. she can't smell. Uh, yeah, yeah, Megan doesn't smell very well. Oh, no. interesting. You want to keep it close to the vehicle here, so you don't swing out over the other. Yeah. Uh, whatever this jelly thing is, is what come up with it, isn't it? Yeah. That is gross. I'm loving the blocks. <laughs> Back closer to the vehicle. When are we planning on recovering this vehicle? 9 a.m. Maybe I'll kill <laughs> time until noon. 9 a.m.? That's what it had on the board. Well, it's after this, there's the transex to the whale side. You don't want to, you're hitting the other one, aren't you? Yeah, we to make it over to hydrate. Yeah, it probably won't take us that long to do those things. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, hold on. We're being conservative. Tuck it, it back. Take us Tuck it right into the vehicle. Transit. Okay, hold I on. We could use the there. knife with, with uh, the old Mongol. That is there nasty. we go. We're clear now. Hold on. Okay. Just okay, swing it around. I think on the last one, you just use the nice slow, craft it? to just kind of like, it comes off pretty easily. Oh, that thing? Yeah. It oh, did you're on the like last. Oh, rid of the jelly? Yeah. It did on the last one. Megan and Pete were here for that too. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of pinched right off. Yeah. Wow. All right. Can I have you swap that guy to my bucket, or to sample salad, or whatever? Right, right I'll stand by it. Ugh. The oh, prop some of it's starting to come off. The prop on the It's getting sucked through it's the thruster. Such pro <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> some way to do it. Definitely not it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can get it right here. Oh, there you go. Nope, long one. There we go. I have to roll your wrist a little. Oh, it looks like it's going to clear. Tight fit. It was made to fit.
you see the holes, all the holes, all the xylophaga on the wood on the side. That thing is going to disintegrate. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> box in. Uh, we're going to put the uh, whalebone in there as well, so I don't know if you're comfortable leaving it out for a sec. It'll save yeah, us a step. Yeah, good. But you can swing your arm back around. So the whalebone we're going to try to separate from the platform and just grab the whalebone itself. It's held on with uh, zip ties. We have a special zip tie cutting knife. That sounds perfect. <laughs> we still want to do the zoom in though on the ball. Maybe your arm out of my face. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we can um, set down just in front of it and get a good zoom on it. I gotta do all the video stuff first, Danny. So. I was just gonna grab the knife, have it in my hand. Pictures and zooms and all that happy stuff. That fish is gonna lose his home. Oh, well, I gotta take Let's move over to the next one. Yeah. Move in with his neighbor. Okay, Pete, zoom in. Him and all the shrimp. See if you guys see any zombie worms there. Probably not. Zombie worms? Yeah, those, they, they, they. Has it got worms, bones. Fabio? Huh? Has it got worms? Uh, I don't see it from here. Got lots of shrimps. Why is the autofocus on this? I don't see any worms. I don't see any worms. Yeah. That's the oxygen minimum zone acting up. This, uh, what are the little color panels for? Huh? On, the cor on the corners of the platform? Those are just to calibrate uh, our, because the, our camera was in the center, right? Mm -hmm. Viewing those packages. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any Ozodax there. Would be this position for you, for you to handle it, to to clip unclip the, the cable Stop ties. Moving the camera. One more time. I think so. I think so. <laughs> you having fun? There, that's where I wanted to be. <laughs> okay. Sorry, took three or four. Uh, 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 uh. So I can see both zip ties there, and then the monkey fist is wrapped around the bone. Um, the monkey's fist. Oh, it's part of the platform. I think it is wrapped around, but it'll come loose. Like, it's loosely wrapped around. Oh, okay. So you can pull it out from the monkey's fist. So if I grab one end one. of the bone, it'll be okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Think you can just slide it out without busting the tie wraps? I was going to try, uh, but if not, I'm going to have to... I uh, still like to collect footage from the edge of the bone, because that's where... What's up? Can we... Can we come from the side and, and look you at the... You want to see the marrow? Yeah, if we could reposition the sub so that we can view yeah, in that exactly. direction. Yeah, can do. Thank you. Because that's where the bacterial mat was growing more effectively. Okay, go ahead, Pete. Then we take some zoom in from that position as well. Zoom in just a little bit there. A little more, 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 a little more. That's good. Come down uh, four meters, Danny. Please. There are three ribs originally. I only clipped one in 2016, I think, one in 18. So, you know, we, we see the bacterial mat grows on the cut. And I think this position may be better to cut the. Yeah, it's definitely a better position. Okay, you can uh, 
go tight there. Nice and slow. No, I'm gonna have Is to come back and take some grabs from. Yeah, can you take a few for me? Yep, I'm gonna have to grab a zip tie. Okay, can push the rest of the way in on the end there. Mm, this looks cool. tasty, don't it? Is that uh, full, is it? Yep, there? full. Oh, there no worms, though. Uh, hold on, I can get a little better shot here. That thing is gonna be smelling really bad. <laughs> I hope you have like a sealed box or something to put it in. Triple sealed radioactive container. I'm gonna throw this guy straight. Yeah, the science. I stay away from the science samples. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty good. No gracias. I like Let's the two capellas that are on top one, of Danny. each other. Huh? Let me do this one. I'll let you have all the fun. I want to have some fun. Come on. Well, you just got to fly all the transects. <laughs> Guess you'll have to come back. <laughs> oh, that's no really not a question. There's two more transects on this dive. Yeah, but yeah, not on their watch. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you happy with all the video and pictures and all that? I yeah, can I think assault I this thing with the video. The, the digital is still and that's not in a good good position. Oh, we should yeah, be, I mean, they should have, they have another hour. We're doing the video trend six right after this. Oh, right That's after this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Get some knife ready. Can you zoom in there, Pete? Just so the tip of the minip show it. Yeah. That's good. So there were just to provide some context, there were three whalebone pieces here. So the zip that zip tie to the right is already severed for an old recovered zip tie. So like this is yeah. not the zip tie is meaningless to us. It's just yeah. that one that we care about. And there is this guy too. Yeah. Ah, it's tight. I think your knife's gonna work well for that. Yeah, less, all the, the last two times we used the knife. The shrimp is attacking you. <laughs> yeah. It's like my home. Cut it with the knife. That's more fun. Oh, uh, you got it there. Oh, yeah, he got it. Oh. Top the regular time. knife or the hydraulic knife? Oh, just the regular knife. Our kitchen knife from the galley? Yeah. Actually, we've got a special what is knife. A hydraulic for knife? I missed that one. Uh, yeah, because it's always uh, at, I think, like 5 in the morning. Uh, when they have to cut the moorings, they have a hydraulic knife. Yeah, that's a heavy duty a zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> Kapow. Yeah, we keep missing it. Uh, nice we can watch always, the reruns. <laughs> that's surprising. I thought it would snap the tire up. Well, if you squeeze the uh, the bl the keeper, you might pop the keeper loose. Because remember, if you squeeze those, they, they break loose. That's a good idea. Oh. We don't want to damage the bone here, guys, yeah. so well, try not to press too much on it. 
Yeah. That's why I'm avoiding getting a sharp instrument out around it. There, there you go. go. Oh, that was good. There's another two, one back there. Two tire ups. Yeah, there's a yeah. second one in the back. Looks like the tie wrap ends right there if you squeeze that. all yours. I'm not sure it broke. In theory. I don't think so. It looked like it did. No? Oh, oh it's still tight so it gets tight in there. In there. Yeah, there's, there was, this was three, right? Yeah, but, but this one has the middle one. It yeah. only has the two. Has, so. uh, I could probably break it by picking up the bone, but Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's broken. Who wants to be sure? Grip force, six. It's bone pickup force. Nice. Well done. Do you want to get a video of the other end of it before it comes up? Sure. Yeah. Want to rotate your wrist? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. So I'm in there, Pete. There you go, full zoom there. Let me get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, we can rotate around to the other side. You can stay in tight there if you want. Okay. Falls in there, is it? Going for a ride. <laughs> I was going to say, it doesn't want to let go. That's full zap. Looks like there's a worm here. Uh, I don't see no worms. You see worms? No, no, I was a dog's here. I right see there. a worm, but I you don't see think a worm? it's. Yeah, there's a little worm right there, but it's uh, a polychaete. Yeah. Not the kind of worm you want. Yeah, it's not, it's not, not the a, zombie not worm. Not the zombie worm? No. Uh, very good. You good? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to hit the craft button on the bubble camera. Into the bio box. Oh, it's going to smell so good. Mm -mm. Breakfast. Mm, yeah, that's one way to lose your breakfast. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. 
Let me know when you're done with the uh, Uh, you don't need to switch it. I can see oh, here. You sure? Me. Yep. Not looking over there anymore. I have a whole night of sleep to think about uh, what, what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that to see how far doesn't I can it come around. up at night? No, the bone, I'll pick any live things and then I'll freeze them like I did with the other ones. But the wood is going to be it's full of animals. The wood's full of stuff, so I'll have to do some sorting. It, it, is there no way to just preserve it all together? Is that um, I can cr probably it's crumbly, right? The wood it can cr I can kind of crush and put into. I think we still have some of those four liter Nogene jars. You can just put there in ethanol, mm. and then I sort like in more detail later under the microscope and everything. Excellent. Dan, the bone collector. <laughs> bone saw. Sample tray coming in. We got one more to get, so you might as well leave it out. No, nope. we're leaving that. Oh, we're leaving the uh, other one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, got all we came for. Uh, we just didn't do any video. If we could do some zoom ins of the carbonate, it would be great. Too. You want to grip force back tonight? You want to add some shots of the other one then? Yes, please. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Kay. You got one bone, I got one bone. Fair is fair. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Where's my bone? <laughs> no bone for Jay. No bone for you. Maybe next year you can get this one. Throw him a bone, for goodness sake. <laughs> that one's a rock. Nav, do you have the coordinates for our next whale fall surveys? I do. Oh, wonderful. Yep, all ready. Up at Simba, up, up, Simba, up, up, up. See bias. I like watching the fish in the wire cam. Yeah. Are they still jumping? Yeah, they're they're going for it. Yeah, there's uh dolphins and uh sharks, like little sharks. Yeah. Chasing all the little fish around. That's great. Yeah. Let's send that out, uh set three. So that was a fish making that dust, not me. Yeah. But that one was you. <laughs> That's a big fish. I don't think that was me. Yeah. Well, yeah, the one up, uh, up there is probably some other fish. A lot of fish. With a big dent in the ground, that was you. <laughs> I know much to see here. Not only the carbonate is home for the shrimp. Zoom in just a bit for us, Pete. Yeah, the shrimps don't seem that picky. They're like, oh, it's <laughs> off the seafloor? We love it. Yeah. yeah. Good, thanks. Well, there's a crinoid, too. So what are you looking for exactly in these whale bones, Fabio? Well, we left here uh, to watch the uh, six ecological succession. So the communities that colonize the bone over time, mm -hmm. and of course, in, in the hopes also to to get Ozadax to colonize. But okay, can push we are bit. finding that the oxygen minimum zone is really limiting environment for these worms because the oxygen here uh. is really really low. 0 0.2 milliliters per liter. Is there a reason why it's lower in this particular area? Is it the depth uh, or other we environmental We are right factors? at the core 
of what that we call an oxygen minimum zone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some we have a limited diversity of animals that can withstand this low levels of oxygens, oxygen. Oh, there's some interesting stuff I'm there. Pull out just a bit so they can see the whole thing. Good. Interesting stuff in there. Yeah, so when you look at the sample, you're just looking at the bone. Are you going to like do a cross section or are you just um, observing what's on the outside? We're mostly interested in the outside stuff on the bacterial mats as well. We'll, we'll. we'll sample some of that too. I think we're good. I mean, the general view of where are we off to next? We're going to the start of this survey site. Yep. And it's going to be flat and boring. Yes. <laughs> For what? But that's going to be the site of our new whale fall project. Northeast, southwest. Yeah, it's going to be northwest from here. Northwest, right there. 50 meters, 325. So we have plans to okay, no. sink an entire carcass in that location and bring the move observatory. The Ready to move the boom? Yes, ma'am. Bridge now. Can we move 50 meters, 325? So are you interested yep. in what the three, bone two, is five. sitting on, like the base? You don't care about that. I get east and west confused all the time. Sediments. <laughs> 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 totally do. Uh, no, someone's asking about the base. Oh. So, do you yeah, care so about what's going, going on east. the base? Like on the, the reading. <laughs> yeah, the thing that the bone was sitting on. The platform. Oh, the reason we, we are not retrieving is because it doesn't fit in our bio <laughs> box. Uh, the, actually, the experiment, we are actually submitting a, a paper uh, pretty soon. Uh, so we were counting any organism that were on on top of that dark plate. There was mm -hmm. the grating and on top there was a PVC plate. And so Going that here. was that was our Project. sample size, right? Mm -hmm. The square that was 40 by 40 centimeters. So anything that we saw attached to the substrate, attached to the bone or wood or the carbonate, everything that was above that plate we counted. Oh, okay. So like every video, five minutes of video, we watched that video. We maybe subsampled for a 30 second clip mm -hmm. and how many shrimp or amphipods or polychaetes that we saw um, to, to be our sample size there. Oh, this were, this were the, oh my god, <laughs> these were some post-chase experiments we did. We injected some algae labeled algae with uh, carbon C13. Zoom in on the hagfish again. Go for it. Yep. Their weird faces are shirt. so weird. I'll try coffee <laughs> for the first time this trip. You did or you will? Jumping around. Oh, the dolphins were referring to are on the surface. <laughs> We've been observing them around the ship because oh, there's been a lot nice. of fish towards the surface. I'm logging off. Thanks, guys, for. Bye, Fabio. For Thanks. Nice. Have, Have a good sleep. Good yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks yep. for answering our questions. Go Rest up before there your again. whale sampling tomorrow. <laughs> your whale bone sampling. <laughs> Oh, they just move weird. <laughs> yeah. Those things on top, they look like eyes, but I don't think they're eyes, right? No, no, they're not real eyes, but they do sense they're light. They're sensory glands. Yeah. Yeah. Through those things on there. So, like, it knows we're here, mm -hmm. but it has no, it can't see us. Yeah. It, it senses the, all this light that we're producing. He likes the shade. I'm sure the yeah. sound, too. Yeah, the vibrations. I can feel it. They kind of look like wrinkly and naked mole rats. Naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I 
I love the little skeleton shrimps, though. They're so fun. <laughs> they're a type of amphipod, but they're like highly modified amphipods. A little things on the platform there. Yeah, those little little things that are hanging off the fuzz. Go on, do a tight zoom there for us. No. Is that all the way in? Yep, is it? that's all the way in. Looks like a subsea version of a stick bug. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like a stick bug. Yeah, so the, their legs are modified for gripping in the back there, and it has the two front um, chelipeds. Those are legs with the little pincers, but it's basically lost the rest of what makes it amphipod-like. Okay, time to go. He's really good at sit-ups. Yeah, <laughs> that's all they do. Full wide. Dirk in with Stephanie on the back deck doing the flashlight thing. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Oh, what's that? What did they spot there? I don't know. They've seen a couple of mola molas and then the dolphin. Mola mola. Mola molas, really? Yeah, oh, I love mola mola. A number of dolphins that keep making runs by to eat some fish and mola molas are my favorite I lots really of little sharks soup, i think they're the soup fin sharks i've only seen a mola mola in an aquarium yeah now if you guys want to look at port cam on your multi viewer there port cam okay i was gonna say someone asked us what we did for fun this shine flashlights into the water <laughs> I don't think I have that option, Pete. There's something. Do we want to do this survey at half a knot? What are we doing here? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Sounds great. Do you want to get moving this on our survey? This is start point? That's our start point. And it's that same uh, whatever bearing you told me? Oh, uh, we're going to go north for 260 meters. North. Due north. Mm -hmm, due north. Roger. Yeah, so we usually get, we try and get Argus and Atlanta lined up mm -hmm. when we do a move. That way we can keep an eye on. I think the ship's going to want to change heading before we get going. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what, uh, what if we do... What if we do point three? Either's fine. Either's fine. We, do we have to change heading if we go point three? How about if you do both? Start out at point three. Start out at point three, then bring your head around however you want. How's that? Okay. Does that work for you? Dan would like <laughs> to get the, <laughs> to, boat, to get the boat moving. Uh, <laughs> so can we start at point three, and then you can bring your heading around as we're moving, and and then go to half a knot? Go yeah. north. Go north. We're going to go 260 meters north. <laughs> Thank you. The opposite of a Blues Brother parking job. <laughs> <laughs> I got that joke, Dan. You're probably the only one in the room that did. <laughs> <laughs> Over my head. <laughs> Blues Brother parking job. I was going to say, Pete, what did you make me watch before? What's that? What it was, was some older movie with Steve oh, Martin. Oh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Oh, yes. oh that, I, yeah, I saw some of that. That's classic. 
And then I think Caddyshack was queued up right after. Yes. Two movies I've never seen before. What? Yeah. If we were headed east, the boat could do a rock route. And that Trans Am. I busted many an axle trying to do that maneuver. Or you were uh, driving in one direction and you flip the car right. around. So you want to call this start a transect? Sure. sure. OK, I need to push in a little bit more to stay consistent. There we go. Did we mark the start yet? Uh, yeah. Cool, where's my goal? You don't know how to fly, I don't think. No, I'm just getting the... Definitely. This way. Because I touched right there. Ah. Oh, thanks. It's a shame we're not recovering uh, anytime soon because the fish and the sharks and the dolphins what? out there are going What's going on there? Really? Yeah. 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 It's doing that weird. Pete was saying there were mola molas out there too. Um, I'm jealous. That's what, yeah. I'm that's very what jealous. Said. Like, why is it not stepping 10 at a time? I saw one last cruise. It's stepping like 0.1 at a time. I've never seen one. None this time. No. They're not, they're, I mean, they're not going to be enormous, but they're still cool to see. Yeah. <laughs> It's a baby okay. whale. <laughs> I love that, that video. That video. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you go in and out of one of fly. It's like uh -huh. doing it. It's stacking them all up in white. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe this way is Y for the thing. That's what it is. Doesn't make any sense. So I guess, I don't no. know. Do we'll so. consider the survey star once we start moving here. Okay. The ship seems to be... Realigning first. Well, we're holding our position here at this point, and then I'll update the time. Oh, we're moving to lightning speed of point one something. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't get it. It's not enough velocity to overcome the current. I, Makes no sense. Maybe it's confused because I'm bang on. It's going on each side of north. I don't know. It looks like we're moving now. We can consider that a start. Okay. 21, 28. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we are going like head into this this current here. Yeah, the, just that auto X Y thing. Yeah. So I still don't get it. I wasn't doing that the other day. No, but it also, if you have your joy gain turned down, it goes wonky. That's the other. Like if I turn the joy gain down, you see the percentages go down. Yeah. No. But at some really weird scale. Like. Bless you. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> it shouldn't do joy gain at all because you're commanding a velocity. Yeah. No. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with joy gain. Now it's 
ramp it up and down. It's very strange. Maybe it does. If you had to do a new ROV control system, what would you do it with? A new ROV control system? I wouldn't. I for would. for this vehicle, would you modify this code? Would you go green sea with? Would you go ROS. Well, green sea does use ROS. ROS is as like their their backbone. I think most of their software. Is it? I think so. Yeah. I'm sure, a lot of transforms. Yeah. But they're stuck on, like, I don't know if they've upgraded, they're stuck on uh, like 8 or something like that. AJ, did you guys already do the Coral Cliff survey? Yes, we did. Yeah, I think it was last shift. Oh, okay. We just caught the very tail end of it at shift change. I'd probably go Green Sea because that's where most of the science ROVs I feel like are are going towards, and there's the support there, and they've they've done all the trial and error. And yeah, I think I would too, just for the. Because if you do it all custom again, it's going to end up falling on one person's shoulders, and then you're going to get the same thing that you've had for the last 20 years, just, you know, for the next 20 years. <laughs> yeah, only one person. Yeah. That, right yeah. Long as it. Well, yeah. and it helps to have consistency across vehicles. Yeah, it does. You know, for especially since all of us come from different yeah. backgrounds. So that's where it goes back to, like, a lot of the other science vehicles are now using Green Sea. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to start a, I don't know if they ever did, but I was trying to start a user group with Mbari, uh, D2, and Sebastian and yeah. Ropos. There's four of them. I think I would just for that. Yeah. Go. Well, it'd be nice for operators going back and like you know. So you guys are missing all the excitement outside. Yeah, oh, I know. Uh, so the, the water is boiling. <laughs> that's right. That's where I was for an hour when. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy the amount of fish around us. Dolphins and sharks. Did yep. you see a mola mola? Because then we'd all be jealous. I was just waiting for a whale to come up and just eat <laughs> the thousand fish. Well, you might mistake it for a baby whale. <laughs> nice turn and burn there, Ariel. Most impressive. Yeah, these kind of feeding frenzies tend to happen at night. I guess it's following what, I don't know, is there some kind of diurnal migration that happens, semi-diurnal? Oh. oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, right, right in the evening and in the morning, there's a vertical migration from about 500 meters up to the surface. Well, we were hitting it with a spotlight and, would, and the water would just explode with yeah. the amount of fish jumping out of it. Oh yeah, no, it that's It is fun. insane. Uh, oh, what's the crab got? It really, nice. really puts uh, things into perspective. David, uh, David down there, and oh. he was like, in the, in the last 20 years, I have never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, this this area is very productive. Super so many things is. here. We are in, um, in an upwelling region, so tends to be more productivity. Yeah, I've just been watching the wire cam, and you'll see them all jump. Look at that. It's nuts. And then even down here, it's like so many animals.
I think all these like little dots on the seafloor, I think those are all sea cucumbers. <laughs> Pete, you got yourself a spotlight on that camera? <laughs> you really get to see what happens. I think Oriole's got some pretty powerful spotlights up by him. Yeah. Got the ship searchlights out yet, yeah, Oriole? Are mm -hmm. they remote control? You tell the AB to point it there, and that's what you get. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped listening. Yeah, he's usually always spying on us. Yeah. He's probably outside lip watching it. Probably. You can click out one there if you want, Megan, if that makes life easier. I know where I am underneath. One or two is fine. There, that way you can keep your boxes. I know how much you like them. I'm over them at the moment in auto. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did we take any um, like specimen samples during this dive? Uh, a rail bone and a piece of wood. Say, yeah. A live not specimen. Inten not intentionally, yeah. but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just looking at the dive plans. Yeah, only the things that were associated with the experiments we picked up. Okay. Ooh, is that the, an end mark there? Is, the? Yeah, that's the end mark. And then we go to the... Then we go to this one. WF2 start. Yeah, this looks like a, a nice, safe landing zone. Haven't seen anything of interest yet. No sonar targets. It's flat. Great place to play in the mud. Yeah, all the commotion's at the surface. Definitely. It would be really cool to have the ROV just flying through all of that. Probably make chum. <laughs> it would be exciting. So much chum. It's another idiot. <laughs> it's fun to say. There's actually two varieties out here, but they're pretty difficult to tell apart. Um, you got your Canadians and your Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's tell really them hard. Apart by their their dorsal fin. Yeah, it's like pecs. fin ray counts and teeth. Are you generally uh, the ways you, you can tell these yeah. fish apart? Specifically here, uh, there's the long spine thorny head, and then there's the short spine thorny head. Yeah, and the yeah. difference between that long and short is probably like a couple millimeters. <laughs> I remember doing surveys out here, and then a scientist had a little fish calculator. Yeah. Press for this fish, press for that fish. That would be a good way to do it, especially if you're trying to do transects on the fly. Yeah, that's what they were doing, transects on the fly. Yeah, especially if you're like in a sub and you can't, like, you know, be comfy yeah. and annotate on your <laughs> sea tube. Yep. Because yeah, it is nice because sea tube does allow you to go back a little while. Yeah, it does. Instant replay is a really nice feature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of chunks the video from, from what I've gathered. So, yeah, it'll kind of 
preload about a five minute window um, that you can freely scrub through before you know it reloads another chunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's, oh, what's that? that? It's like oh. Whoa. oh, it's up in our business. One of the most scary creatures of the deep. Because <laughs> we just ready to pull back on the sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Obscure all visibility. I mean, you got to avoid that anyways. curtain of death. Because that's how siphonophores feed. They have these specialized feeding polyps. Because this is a colony of polyps that all have specialized um, functions. And the feeding polyps have these like long uh, tentacle-like structures with stinging cells on them. And you just don't want to run into that because it'll sting you and wrap around you. It's not very fun. So they like to call it a curtain of death. <laughs> and that's how they catch their food. From a ROV operator perspective, it, we always think it's a rope, and the, <laughs> yeah. the instinct is to pull back on the sticks, which then just obliterates the visibility, so then you have a rope in front of you, and you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Oops. now I understand why it's so scary. The better instinct is just to let go. Yeah. Because, you know... And then just bonk off of it. They only move at walking speed. Yep. <laughs> you feel like you're going faster than you are. Yeah, like, still yeah. walking speed. Still less than walking speed. Yeah, it's like the slowest mosey. Yeah. How many times do you guys get bit by jellyfish stingers when you're cleaning the ROV? All the time. Especially in the, it seemed more so in the Gulf of Mexico, I don't know why. Mm. Must have pretty high resistance tolerance to it now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Especially on the inside of your arms. Oh, yeah, that. Re reaching in. And Ugh. Uh, <laughs> do you wear gloves or anything when you clean? Some people do. Most of the time I just hose it down. <laughs> It's hard to work on a lot of the stuff we do with gloves on, so you're constantly changing them all the time. We have the uh, mechanics latex gloves. We burn through quite a few of those. Just be like me right after we get on deck, claw underneath hook. <laughs> Still dripping wet. <laughs> yeah, it was still dripping. That at least once every expedition. <laughs> this vehicle, not so much. Robos is up on skis, and they have a. They do quite a bit of stuff underneath. They have a creeper that you slide under there on. But yeah, it's always raining, mud and salt water. Mm, gross. Yeah. He could probably turn and burn to the next one if you want to. We're going to get to the end first, and then we can turn around. 
We're not going to cut corners here. We're going to finish the transect. Yeah, but if you move the ship east now, by the time Argus or Atlanta will kind of swing around and I can hit the end of the transect and then turn, we'll have to wait for it to stop swinging and then start swinging again. I guess. At least 100 meters. Well, I kind of have to go a little bit north to get to the start point. Nav. Can we move eighty five meters zero seven six? Looks like it'll be downhill too for a bonus. Yeah, a little downhill. Yes. Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. to steering Atlanta on the fly. <laughs> Cutting corners. Well, Herc's got a 50 meter range, so I can do a hard chirp right turn. We're approaching our end mark here. We are. Call it whenever you like. Oh, I'm ready to call it. All right. And transect. And nine forty ten. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we gained about. 10 meters of elevation on that. I guess we're tracking uphill a little. Yeah. Now we're looking downhill, so. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. It's all right. You did want to do that a little bit because we're looking downhill. Okay. I'll just do it for now and then I'll go back. I can zoom in a bit there. Yep. A little more? Sure. What's that fish? Uh, it's a rat tail. Chase it. Different from the ones I'm usually used to seeing. Yeah, it's a it's a different genus. Yeah. Kind of 
her like a Nizumia or something. Can't see its face very well. Probably zero now, I would assume. The six eight rep. That's nice jelly. Yeah, it's a big it's one. It's so big. Yeah. There's something in it. It's like a floating yeah. mushroom. On it or in it? In it. Yeah. See that white thing? Oh, yeah. That's a big red jelly. I don't know what that stuff is. Someone's got a mobile home. <laughs> mm. 
Yep, coming in. Oh, and he turned around for you. Oh, oh pff, photo bomb. Photo bomb. <laughs> photo bomb. <laughs> like, oh, I Tyson. got my screenshot. <laughs> it's so weird. Is that wow. like an egg sack? What is that? Uh, maybe. I'm not really what? sure how jellies <laughs> do that. <laughs> what would uh, what would lay eggs on a jelly? The bell of a jelly. I <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> that was pretty wild though. Mm -hmm. Huh. I like the channels. Yeah. Wow. This is a highlight shot right here. <laughs> I really don't. This is the know biggest what's going one of on. these I've ever seen. Yeah. It's coming at you. It's so big. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Nice job, Dan. Tiburon Tiburinia? Yeah, that's it. Tiburinia granojo. Or Tiburonia, I believe. Yeah, Tiburonia. Oh. The patterning on the patterns, the, yeah. I was just thinking that. on the like or the like, rim. Yeah, it's metal. <laughs> you can see the like, little nematocyst cells on those chonky tentacles. Chonky. <laughs> yeah. You want to hear about this earthquake? Yes. In Alaska. Yeah. We the about Alaska it one was that just today? Yeah. It was wow. like an hour ago, and there's a tsunami warning for where we are. Wait, uh, an Interesting. hour ago? Yeah, 7.2. Hold on. We were talking about it oh, two hours ago. 8.49, it says. Well, we're deep enough that it'll just be a big bump for us. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. We hope. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying confidently, I mean, but... I don't want to be Poseidon out here, but... <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to be like 2012. Don't uh, worry. Maybe it's yeah. like its reproductive <laughs> deal. But yeah, we're about yeah, to smack in the middle of it. Yeah, I think it might be its it. I've never had such a nice close-up of these. You usually oh, see them yeah. on the Endeavor site going mm -hmm. down. Yeah, so you get like the top of them. Yeah. Wow. But like you can see all the channels on the underside. It's like, wow, that's mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it happened at 11, at 11.48, so right before you guys came on watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we, yeah, we were talking about me up. that. <laughs> be interesting to see the data from your guys' seismometers. It uh, would be. We pulled yeah, it up. We pulled it up. <laughs> <laughs> of course you yeah, did. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've got the power of the data. That's really neat. Glad we can do it in near real time. No, I just got a text. It was like, um, are you okay? <laughs> like, I'm okay. Seven point two, thirteen miles deep. That's awesome flying, Dan. You're doing all the work. <laughs> yeah, great job. Whoa. This is spectacular Whoa. stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Someone <laughs> this is watching. <laughs> this is spectacular. See, now this, th this is your new uh, screensaver. Oh, yeah, no, totally. This, I totally want this as my new screensaver. <laughs> that is amazing. Poof, that this is alien life. <laughs> From another planet. <laughs> okay, there's there's no, other, no other way to put it. Maybe we're the aliens, and they're the natives to Earth. I think I'm too sober to have that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what you'll stumble on out here. Wow. It's so majestic. Mm -hmm. It's like just hanging out, existing, and we're yeah. just um, enamored by it. This is all it does with its life. It just kind of just bloops along. <laughs> Goes wherever the current takes it.
Looks like fingers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they're really, really wide. It's almost comical. Like if you drew a jellyfish that looked like this, someone would probably be like, that's wrong. Like, that's no, a, that's don't. an ugly jelly. <laughs> Like, no, you haven't seen it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. And oh. now it's just a bait. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Dan's going to save out. it. It's fine. It just lost a couple eggs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was going to let go of those anyway. And now you got to catch up. <laughs> uh, he's, being, he's under us now. Oh, goodness. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> wow, it's that okay. Was What's the rule in science of everything you study gets uh, slightly uh, hmm? damaged? Like, you can't really yeah, study something and it being completely the, Yeah, there's attacked. no, like, center thruster. Yeah. Isn't that a law? Dan. Needs his headset. I'm gonna Danny, come up. I can't find any tsunami warnings in the U.S. or Canada. I'm gonna come up. I just come back down. Oh, maybe they were right rescinded. Okay. Maybe because I did get a text here. Megan, can you have Dan put his headset on? We were also okay. talking about Dan, warning can you put systems. Put your headset back on. Through what system did you get a warning? He says no. Oh, a tsunami advisory is canceled. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Observed max tsunami height zero point five feet. Oh, that's yeah. so much. That's that's a wee baby. <laughs> we should. Uh, it says a tsunami was generated by this event, but no longer poses a threat. So we should see it on the bottom pressure recorders. We'll see a little baby wave go by. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We we drifted a long way, but it was very fun. I enjoyed it. You missed the jelly. Our chunky <laughs> jelly. Do you mind if I move the ship 25 meters? <laughs> it's a seam ripper. It's for ripping really big seams. Oh my goodness. It looks like a can opener. <laughs> One of those old school can openers. Yeah, like on my multi tool. Yeah. Can just like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We picked up the stinky stuff. We did some transects. <laughs> Just sit down.
Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. All. Good morning. It's like the one time of the day where it's actually appropriate to say good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Oriel. Oh, hey, Bridge. Good morning. Thank you. What are we doing? Um, so I want. I would like to move the ship another 20 meters. Go for it. All right. Where are we going? That Bridge way? Nev. Can we do 20 meters east, please? Good. Which east? We're going east? Yep. Okay. So we're going to set up for transect right here. Oh, uh, it's going to be uh, 300 meters to the south. Set up for transect. Okay. But since we were looking at that jelly, <laughs> it was like, all the jellies have turned up. And you guys were, were going to be here shortly. I thought, let's just hold our horses. <laughs> we have horses? Yep. We keep them in the brig. Have any of you guys seen what's going on over the side of the ship? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we that saw. It was pretty wild. Yep. Did you see the Mola Mola? What would that be? The uh, sunfish? Ocean Large sunfish. Flat-ish fish. No. Where its eyes would be on top. No. Seen plenty of sunfish, but not tonight. We might have to grab the flashlight after our shift, Megan. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. we should go check that out. Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. We, we only have a, yeah. We only have a few more days. Sleep is overrated. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter one of these days just to get my sleep back on schedule. <laughs> so what's the direction of the transect? South. South. Well, it's gonna be a little southwest, a little west, but mostly south. Somewhere, Somewhere uh, in the middle. Some yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, south it's 181, so it's mostly south. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll get the cameras and stuff dialed in. What's up, Pete? Wait. Let me know oh, when you're yeah. ready, and I'll get the zoom and iris yeah, ready. The ship's going to want to change heading before we get going. Bridge nav. We are going to do another transect, and we're going to be going south. So if you want to start changing the ship's heading now, that'd be great. Thanks. What altitude for this one? Same, 1.3, 1.5? Yeah. Yeah. And we can go half a knot on this. What is a step? 10 centimeters? It'll, it says. Oh, over yeah. Here. Yeah, tells you in there. Uh, what is that? There you go, step zero. Yeah, we have a couple one. of them. Oh, there we go, 10 centimeters. Yeah. What'd you say, uh, 1.3 or something? Go one, if you, yeah, 1.3 to 1.5. That's what they wanted last time. Looks like you're on a slope. Yeah, I might not get that. How close yeah. am I really to the bottom? Yeah. I haven't seen any mud kick up yet. Uh, yeah. This mud is really sticky. So have you guys been using the step forward? The I, because of the currents last, I don't know what it's like today, but yeah. last night I had to use the stick just to set it off. 
and balance it. And then stick lock or no? Yeah. Yeah. Roger. Still needed a truckload of laterals last night. Yeah, well right. Was a bit of forward. Yeah. No, it looks like it's still ripping quite a bit at the minute. It's okay. It's I don't think it's bad as last night, but yeah, it's still going, and this slope is slopey. Yeah, it's a little slopey. It's a little slopey. Yeah. Yeah. Slopey. It's not terrible. There's no rocks. It's just mud. So the purpose of this survey is to uh, make sure that there is nothing of interest over here so they can put down another experiment. Yeah, exactly. So how do you want the camera? Like that? <laughs> You're trying to capture that star. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun game, isn't it? Um, how how close is that away from the uh, the Fletcher? The f like, what? can can we push it down just to you, a You just want the Fletcher just out of sight? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So there's the Fletcher. Yep. Tilt up. And one more. Yeah, and yeah that's... The arm inside over on the left side there by a pair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe you push in a zoom, little. Zoom past that. And Other then, way. Uh, and then Jump. I guess laser's on. Laser's on. Lovely. Now the front porch typically has been actually you'd see the front porch if I was full wide. Yeah. Those little Kay. two bars. Yeah. Those like were that. sticking out. Yep. And then I would just zoom a couple of clicks okay. past that. Go go for it anytime there. Please. Okay. So that's about where I was. Right so about there. Lovely. Yep. Yeah. That looks okay. pretty nice. Looks good to me. So now we're just waiting on the ship. Yep. Ship is finished. Fishing a heading change and then we'll get going. All right. Do you guys know this is our last day in the van together, probably? We got we one, get more one more dive. Second to last. We get one uh, more. Yeah, we but that's going to be this. We don't Oh, is oh, it? Do you? Really? Oh, no. By tomorrow oh, that's morning, so sad. We'll be doing multi beaming. Mm. It is so sad. I got to get all, all everybody's jokes got to get out now. <laughs> <laughs> then just radio silence. I can't, I can't find find any jokes off the spot like that. <laughs> How do you split the ocean in half? Moses? With a seesaw. Oh, got it. <laughs> nice. How do you That's catch fun. a bear? How do you catch one? You dig a hole, you fill it full of ashes, and you put peas all around the outside of the hole. And when a bear comes to take a pee, kick him in the ash hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's too early for that. <sighs> All right. Okay, you guys ready to get going? Uh, how fast are we going? Uh, we're going to go half a knot. Okay. Hurry. All right, so bridge, we would like to go 300 meters south. Thank you. Half a knot. Yep. Uh, can I reset your DVL for you? Drink. Go ahead. There you go. That's a really nice ship move there. Perfect curvature. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, the ship didn't actually move, it just turned around. Do yeah. I got to wait for Atalanta to come with me? Like yep, yeah, once she gets going, then you can get going. Roger. And we're going due south? Is that right? Or yep. You, that's good enough? Due that's south. Good enough. Due south. 